I want to give everyone a brief overview of what is going on right now in the Florida courts and the Florida legislature as it relates to foreclosure. Uh, we are seeing right now a tidal shift uh, in terms of what is going on. For example, in Dade Broward and Palm Beach County as well as other counties throughout the state, we are seeing the re-advent of the uh, rocket docket, which means that the courts are once again on a tear to try and get their dockets cleared up. They got new money that has come in from uh, the, the, the federal settlements from the bank through the Attorney General, and so they have brought back these retired judges who are now having one thing in, the, the, in mind, and that is by any cost, for any purpose, they want to get rid of their dockets and move them. So that means a number of things. One, people will not be in foreclosure for as long as they have been in the past. Two, it means the banks will frequently not be prepared to go to trial, and, and they too are going to be suffering uh, what, what I call asymmetrical uh, uh, um, situations where they may in fact lose at, at trial because they weren't properly prepared and people could end up uh, getting a mortgage actually uh, thrown out, a foreclosure thrown out, and depending on the statute of limitations, they may well even uh, be able to end up remarkably keeping, keeping their home. Other situations will occur where uh, people are uh, preparing to try and negotiate and settle with the bank, and in fact, that because of the rocket docket, uh, they will not be provided that opportunity to do so, and, and people will end up being um, foreclosed faster than, than they wish. What does this mean for the real estate market in Florida? It means a lot. It means that you will have a new supply of inventory of, of distressed homes coming back to the market, which uh, some realtors like, some realtors don't like. The market has tightened up, and so there aren't really enough uh, listings on the market, so this could bring new listings in the market. It also could bring too many new listings in the, into the market at a, at a price point that is below the market and thus actually uh, preventing prices from continuing to accelerate. Uh, on the one hand, that could be good, but on the other hand, it could actually uh, hurt the real estate market. 